Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we are asked to determine the quotient of a fraction and a whole number, and we're going to use a model. Here's your question. Vegetables were planted in half of a garden. The section of the garden where vegetables were planted was divided into three equal parts, one for carrots, one for lettuce, and one for tomatoes. Which of the following models is shaded to represent the fraction of the garden where the carrots were planted? And noting that this diagram right here represents the whole garden. Please pause now and come back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So we're first going to go back and understand that vegetables were planted in half of the garden. And this box right here, this rectangle, represents one whole garden. So first, let's divide this into half. So we have half the garden for vegetables. Now, the section of the garden where the vegetables was planted was divided into three equal parts. And one of them was for carrots, and that's what we're determining here was the carrots in the garden. So in three equal parts, we know that one of them was for carrots. But first, let's take our vegetables and divide it into three equal parts. So half of our garden was for vegetables. And in the vegetable section, there were three equal sections. And each was carrots, lettuce, and tomatoes. So let's highlight where we had just the one section of the three equal parts for carrots. And now we have that shaded in. Now, in order to determine what portion this is, let's make equal portions. So we're going to make this, extend these lines down. So even though we don't know what was in the second half of the garden, we know that we now have six equal parts, and one of those was carrots. Now, we are asked to determine which one of these four choices represents this. Well, the first thing I can do is rule out B, because that was, for we're looking for carrots, and B is one out of five, and we have six sections to our garden. Over here in C, they have two of the six, and we only have one of the six, so it can't be C. And D was divided into five equal parts instead of six, so we're going to rule out D. And then we look at A, which you probably noticed to begin with, but we got to rule out all our others just to verify we had the right answer. One out of six, and we have one out of six shaded. So our solution is A. Thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time.